Hi, Gately Stevenson Matthews. I'm honored to be a board member here at North Shore Historical Museum. And on behalf of myself, on behalf of the president of the board, the board membership, the director of the museum, and all of us here at the museum, welcome to the fourth episode of Pop-Up Visit. You are in for such a major treat today in that not only is our museum director, Amy Driscoll, going to take you into the museum, but today she is being joined, joined by one of our board members, Jonathan Sherman. And the thing is, if you have not heard Jonathan Sherman uh, share with you a bit of history, you have got a wonderful opportunity today. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, that will be wrapped up. As always we do, we will uh, bring in Georgie Connett, who will share with you about opportunities here at the museum. And uh, we just want to remind you, join us every week uh, for a pop-up visit. And without any further ado, take it away. Thanks so much, Gately. It's great to be here. Today we have with us Jonathan Sherman. Jonathan Sherman is an art conservator from Seacliff and a board member. He is also the curator of our upcoming exhibit, The Art of the Tiffany Foundation. Jonathan, welcome and please tell us about the exhibit. Okay, I'm look, really looking forward to this exhibit. Laurelton Hall was a magnificent home and gardens overlooking Cold Spring Harbor built by Lewis Comfort Tiffany in 1905. The home was intended as an artistic oasis and place for artists to visit and paint. In 1918, Tiffany established the Tiffany Foundation. Young artists who had recently completed their basic artistic training were invited to spend three month periods living at Laurelton Hall, working on their art, guided by experienced artist advisors and even by Lewis Comfort Tiffany himself. This exhibit includes work by artists who were fellows of the foundation, teachers and administrators of the foundation, and associates of Lewis Comfort Tiffany who frequently visited Laurelton Hall. The first painting here is by Muriel Jernan. She was one of the fellows of the Tiffany Foundation and this was painted in 1924. This is a view from Laurelton Hall, from the grounds, looking at Cold Spring Harbor. And the painting is done in a neo-impressionist style. And if you move over here to this painting, which is by Umberto Romano, who was also a fellow in 1925 and 1926, this is a painting of the Spring Fountain, which was um, on the grounds at Laurelton Hall, and it featured a marble sculpture of a nude woman standing atop a basin in the shape of a scallop shell, surrounded by an arbor overlooking a man-made pond. This fountain was located below Laurelton Hall's main terrace. And we can move over here to another painting by Hobart Nichols. Hobart Nichols was a very noted painter and he was one of the teachers as well as he was the director of student activities at Laurelton Hall. This is a still life probably done at Laurelton Hall of some objects that were found there. Um, Hobart Nichols lived in Bronxville, New York and he was noted for his landscapes of Connecticut as well as the Bronx River and he was the president of the National Academy of Design as well. Um, this painting features a frame that was actually carved by Hobart Nichols, and you could see the H and the N um, in the frame. And then the last painting I'd like to show you is this work over here, which is by the noted American Impressionist Jane Peterson. Um, Jane Peterson was very good friends with Louis Comfort Tiffany, and she traveled all over the world to do paintings, to paint local subjects. And she actually undertook a trip with Louis Comfort Tiffany to Northwestern Canada and Alaska in 1916 for the purpose of painting. This is, and she also did a lot of painting at Laurelton Hall. This is not Laurelton Hall. This is a painting that she did of a scene in North Africa, probably around 1912 or so. So we have these paintings as well as other paintings in the exhibit and some sculptures and we are hoping to open the exhibit in late July and run it through the end of December and I hope you will be able to visit. Our mission is to preserve the history of the North Shore of Long Island. For almost seven years we have fulfilled this mission with the support of our membership and our volunteer board of trustees. 